Jane, your debut poetry collection, The River, was published this year, I think by Blood Axe. That's what right. kind of reaction has the book been getting for you? Uh, very good, yeah. yeah. I think it's, it's got quite a bit of critical acclaim, but it's, it also people are reading it and people are loving it, and that's the most important thing. You know, I've met people who said it's on my kitchen table, and, you know, or it's by my bed, and that's what you just love as a poet to hear. It's amazing. You know. Now, when we look at your biography, you're not bad at winning the awards and prizes, <laughs> but what do they mean to you as a writer? I mean, do they inform your writing at all? Well, it, I think the most important thing is the encouragement. Mm -hmm. It is really encouraging because, you know, there is a sense of, well, why should I do this? There's so many other wonderful writers around, you know. But, yeah, it gives you encouragement. And, yeah, informing the writing, well, I suppose one, one prize can lead you to thinking... It's, people you meet through mm -hmm. the events and maybe that kind of increased confidence helps you spread your wings a bit more as a writer and that's important too. Now Jane, part of the winning title of this prize is of course the List Old Writers Week. Yeah. You must tell us a little bit about your relationship and association with the festival. Well, I was saying to them today, tonight at the dinner table, I did my first writing course with Listowel Writers Week, which is kind of amazing to think, with the wonderful writer Anthony Glavin. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, and then after that, I won probably my first significant prize with them. That was the, you know, for a single poem <laughs> award. And then two years ago, I won the first collection prize judged by Moya Cannon, who's a wonderful poet, mm -hmm. so I was really honoured by that. Uh, so, like, the Stowe Writers Week has been good to me, you know, but also they're good to poets, they're good to writers. It's a fabulous festival. And I've gone to it just to attend it, you know, many a time as well, you know, but also the, the prizes along the way have been great. Very I good. can just see this twinkling in the Listowel <laughs> arms next June when everybody yeah. gathers. Just finally then for you, you are still working I gather full time as a management consultant. Yeah, part time. Part time. Part -time. That's what I was about to ask, yeah. you know, shifting yeah. loyalties here from management consultancy yeah. to writing. Do you envisage a time or do you even want a time where you'll devote your life full time to poetry? Um, well in some ways I already do and I fit in the management consultancy wherever well, I can them, around the okay. poetry. We'll <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I think in a way the balance is probably good. You know, it's something that brings you out into the world. I'm not sure that being at home all the time writing would suit my personality. I think I like the other, you know, a bit of the other as well. So that's good, yeah. Well, congratulations on being the winner of the inaugural Irish Book Awards Poem of the Year, Jane Clark. Thank you very much. <laughs>